Hey guys, I am April with All Things Beautiful and I'm so excited today to tell you that I went to Target and did a curbside pickup for some products to do this video today for you guys. And if you are wanting to know what makeup I use to get this look, then please continue watching. So let's get started. All right, so like I was saying, we went to, me and the kids, went to Target and did a curbside pickup today because I placed the order last night on my phone for like some products that I wanted to try today. I was going to try something different and I thought I had ordered it, but apparently I put it back like in my save for later thing. It's a makeup tool. But anyway, um, I'll do that on another video. However, not a makeup tool, skincare, skincare tool. But anyway, so last night, like, as I was watching my show, me and Monty, I went through Target and picked out a couple of things. And I do have some things from this haul that I will use probably in next week's video or in a video in the future because I just saw a couple of different things. There were some things that I picked out and I ordered, but they were out of and one of that is an eyeshadow palette i looked for multiple eyeshadow palettes that were reasonably priced and had a few different colors in it y'all if y'all can wear these bright hues blues yellows oranges like for real for real bright i mean go for it but that's not for me so y'all may get a little bored with seeing some of the same looks as far as eyeshadow colors um, I try to variate that a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to be warm neutrals. And anyway, I picked out one and I ordered it, but it is not in store. And most eyeshadows, for some reason, the eyeshadows are just like sold out. Lots of eyebrow pencils, eyeliners, lip liners, that kind of stuff. It's completely sold out in the store. So when you do like curbside pickup, then you know those things are not there you can still order them and have them shipped to your house or shipped to the store um i think they come directly to you but it'll be a couple of days out and i didn't have that kind of time to waste since i was just ordering everything last night but anyway i have a variation of products to use today i'm going to try to do this pretty quickly because we have a full full day ahead of us whenever we get through um i get through doing this video the boys are home with me. We are going to my grandmother's house to wish her a happy birthday <laughs> from the yard. So we are so excited and looking forward to that. We're going to go by and see my mom while we're up that way. They are about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. My grandparents are from us, so it takes a big chunk out of our day just to travel. But it's her 81st birthday and... You know, we have to celebrate to some degree. But the boys are eating lunch downstairs, and when they get through eating lunch, they are going to make her homemade card that we're going to take with us. So I'm going to try to do this in a hurry. Y'all know my videos are rarely ever just super short, and it's pretty difficult for me to do my makeup in less than an hour, but I'm really going to push for 30 minutes today, and we'll just kind of see how this goes. I doubt I can make it, but anyway, we just ordered, like I said, the Target online last night, and I just went by today, and I picked it up, so we've got these cute little bags with all of our stuff in it. They bring it right out to the car for you, so we're going to see what all we have today. I'm going to set this kind of stuff out. I kind of go ahead and like have all my makeup set out because I do this upstairs, so um, I don't have technically like a makeup area yet um set up up here so whenever i do my makeup i have to take everything out and when i get done i have to put it all up because the boys do come up here to play and i don't trust them to leave my makeup out so we'll see how this goes today all right so i'm gonna slap on my primers real quick same as always because i am using a different foundation today and a different concealer. So y'all know I've had this discussion before, like to keep my primers the same 
and or my foundation the same i don't like to change them both at the same time because if something doesn't work don't really know if it's the primer that's the problem or if it's the foundation so anyway i'm going to leave all that the same if you need to know what those products are i list them thousands of times in my previous videos please go back and watch them because they are my tried and true and my repurchase for sure so i did buy this sonia kashuk makeup blender it is latex free. This says three surfaces allow flexible application and blending of concealers, highlighters, contours, and foundations. Use the pointed end for contouring and precision application. The flat edge to quickly apply product and round edge for buffing to smooth finish. It says to use wet blender to prevent excess absorption of product and also to allow for more sheer coverage. Apply product to face and neck in a sweeping or patting motion. Motion. Wash at least wash. <laughs> Wash at least twice a week to help keep blender clean, soft, and bacteria free. Apply a small amount of cosmetic brush cleaner, lather, rinse well, and allow to air dry. I don't go buy products specifically to wash my brushes or my makeup sponges with. I use my regular, you know, face wash or, or soap because we use antibacterial stuff, so it works just as well. This sponge is so cute. It wasn't the one that I intentionally went for, but I do love this. I love the color of it. Too bad it's not going to stay this color, but this is the Sonia, Sonia Kasha. Okay. And it's got this little flat edge here, rounded point. Okay. And I'm going to use that for all of the products that I put on my face. So I'm gonna get started. Let me slap on this primer really fast. My eyelids. Y'all, how have things been for you, for your family at your house? We had a really, really good weekend. The, we did our Easter this weekend um, because the weekend prior, the boys were at their dad's and they intended to do Easter then and with my mom, but my mom had been exposed to Corona by a co-worker, so she was on quarantine for several days, however many, 7, 14, whatever it was, um, and couldn't do it, but she didn't get sick luckily and that co-worker that did have it is better to my knowledge so girl i'm so glad you're feeling better she watches my videos and is a great supporter and i appreciate that so much so i'm thankful that she's okay now we had so we went saturday morning well, I say Saturday morning. It was actually around noon. And Easter egg hunt at my mom's house. And had lunch with her. And my stepdad was there too. My sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew. When we left from there, my nephew came home, came over after we got home. And he stayed the night. And they camped <clears throat> out outside. They had a little bonfire. They had such a good time. But the weather got bad, so we had to get them in around midnight. But they were fine with that. And then yesterday, what did we do yesterday? We just kind of... So I record my videos on Mondays, and I put them up on Wednesdays. Just so I have time to edit and everything with all that's going on. But anyway, they had a good time yesterday. I think we just pretty much lounged around all day. There was a front that was coming in, like super, super bad weather, and so I had like a splitting headache all day. But anyway, we just kind of watched TV and played games, and we were working on a 2,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. So <laughs> our kitchen table, one of them is just a disaster. But we enjoy doing that from time to time, so we did get that out. All right, moving right along. I got the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Tinted Sun Veil. This is a non-comedogenic. What's it say on the back? True Beige Buff is the color. Provides fresh face look, evens out skin tone, provides seamless coverage, 
breathable weightless formula, skin looks luminous, does not streak, provides up to eight hour wear. Luminous. Yeah, that always tells me. I hope I don't look like a grease ball by the end of the day. So I'm going to use the rounded part of the brush and I'm going to put this on there. Okay, so little liquidy. Just like that. And we are going to apply. What did I do with... Oh, y'all know. I'm missing my mirror here. But seriously, like I got up this morning and we got up at about 8 o'clock. And I have literally heard the word mama. <laughs> Probably 20 times might be putting it lightly. And I don't know. It's not lunchtime yet, really. Okay, so the sponge... It's about the same consistency as the real technique with texture, which y'all know I'm big on, and this bounce. All right, so this goes on super, super sheer. So let's add some more. I feel like I'm gonna have to use a lot of this to like build up my coverage. Um, to get it to like a more of a full coverage or even medium coverage that I will be happy with. So let's see. Also, I'm using a new sponge. So when that happens, a lot of times the product initially, you know, absorbs into the sponge. So our beauty blender, if you want to call it that. So I always feel like initially, like I have to use more product than I normally would because, but I mean, this is like my third dollop that big. To me, that's a lot of product because in my other foundations, typically like one pump will do one side of my face at least, if not go into the second half of my face. So for me to have, Word it out. Two already. Three, I mean. That's a lot. And so, if you don't need or want a lot of, you know, coverage as far as it being full coverage, then, you know, you may like this. But it's definitely, definitely would need two coats at any rate to even still give you somewhat of a smooth look, I think. Because otherwise, I mean, just go without. It does go on really well. And this is a tint. So this isn't a, I mean, this doesn't claim to be a foundation. Okay. So let's get that straight. Doesn't claim to be a foundation. This is tinted skin veil. Okay. So I'm not going to get the coverage with it that I would with a full coverage foundation. The thickness isn't there. But, you know, when I put on something, even for tinted, like I want to look like I got something on my face. And I know not everybody goes for that look, but I do. So, the application is very nice. I don't know what's going on right here, but y'all, my entire family is covered. No, it's not the entire family. Jace is not. I'm not. Wesley, bless his heart, is allergic to everything and has managed to get in poison ivy last week sometime at his dad's house. Came in with a small, I'll say small, it's a pretty large spot underneath his eye. We started doctor on it. Oh my gosh. And then they had the bond bar this weekend and I'm guessing with the wood that we used, it probably at some point had come in contact with some poison ivy. Anyway, that poor child's face is covered in poison ivy. It's down his neck, behind his ear. It goes down here. I think, I don't know what that is. I'm not really allergic to it, but at this point, as bad as it is, geez. 
All right, moving right along. I got this julep. I don't, I don't know much about Julep products, but they're a little on the more expensive side of things from Target. And I've tried the lip products before and I didn't love them, but these come like with a lot of really good reviews. So I wanna try some of the other products that they have. And so I did reach out and get this five in one skin perfector with turmeric or turmeric, however you call it, whatever you wanna say. This is the Conceals, corrects, elim eliminates, blurs, and brightens in the color ivory. It came in a little pretty box, and it's this pretty tube. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, y'all. And then it's got a cushion tip applicator for easy and precise application. This says on the back of the box, What's inside? A multitasking skin perfector that conceals, corrects, eliminates, blurs, and brightens. The buildable medium to full coverage formula has natural demi matte finish. Never heard of a demi matte. Semi matte? Maybe. Demi matte? Uh. And the convenient cushion tip applicator allows for easy and precise application. Use it to spot correct and conceal or all over as foundation. What? Nah. First of all, this is in like a 0.16 ounce tube. I, my face obviously too big for all that. We can't, be, we can't be putting this on like foundation. To use during the first use, twist the bottom several times to prime. Y'all know we had this issue last week with some something. Was it last week or the week before? We had to twist and twist and twist. Okay. Product will dispense into cushion tip applicator. Dot and blend outward with fingers. Layer more product to build coverage where needed. Cap tightly after use, and this is paraben free. And right on the inside of the little cap lid, when you open it, it says, if you can put it on, you can pull it off. Hashtag brave pretty. Okay. So, cotton tip applicator. Twist, 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 Lord have mercy. We would spend two minutes of our life twisting up products in the tips of applicators. And to me, y'all, that's annoying, but. All right, so here comes some product out. Let's see, can you even see that? It's pretty bright in here. Um, there we go, a little bit. Um, okay, let's try it out and see. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, so this product is <laughs> a lot thicker. Oh, sweet Lord. Maybe I twist it too much, okay? I'm just saying. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so obviously, like, you don't need to twist that much, okay? Now I'm gonna put this cap back on, but there's still product sitting on that tip. My bad. And then I'm gonna use the flat edge of this blender to smooth this out. <laughs> Neither one of these products has had a smell either, by the way. Y'all know I'll be telling y'all about that. But yeah, my husband <laughs> this morning, he got us up because he was getting ready to go to work. And I told him last night, I was like, when you get up and get ready to leave, wake us up because we have a full day, you know, ahead of us. And we like to sleep. We stayed up late last night too. He and I did. But anyway, um, then he decided, like, realized he had to teach a class late today at work. So he was just going to go in later. But it was just, mama, 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 mama. And he was like, oh my gosh. I said, uh, welcome to my life. And y'all, I'm not complaining because my kids are home, because I do love them being home. I love that I'm able to spend this time with them right now. Um, I'd like my kids to be with me, but... There's only so much mama you can hear before. It's just like, 
Yes. You don't have to call my name every time you want to talk to me. And Jace is on a little repeat cycle. So everything he says, he feels like he has to say eight times. And I'm like, I heard you the first time. I don't need you to keep saying that over and over again. And then, of course, by today being Monday, and they've been home together since Friday. Well, they've been together every day, but something about over the weekend. I'm just like, geez. They are at each other's throat. I mean, we're sitting in the car. We got the school lunch. They gave two different bags of chips. Why school did you do that? Because of course they both want the same bag. And I'm just like, I'm just giving them out. That looks really good, y'all. It's a little thick, I won't lie about that, but it covers really well. But anyway, Jace is eating his chips and he's on his side of the car and I hear Wesley say, stop smacking. I look in the rear view mirror and Jace puts chips in his mouth and he leans over to Wesley and he goes, y'all, I was like, stop doing that. He said, I wasn't doing it. Yes, you were. I was watching <laughs> you, little stinker. Yes, you were. So, they just getting on each other's nerves today. When we got here, I was like, somebody sit at the big table. Somebody sit at the bar. I'll tell who sits where, because otherwise they're going to fight over that, too. Hmm. It's just crazy. So, on my tip, I'm going in with my contour. I really, really been liking this um, NYX contour that's in a cream. But it's been difficult for me to find another cream contour at, like, the drugstore, Walmart, things like that. Um, Elf has one, but the color looks a little off. It looks more orange where this one is a deep brown and I don't want an orange looking anything so I do like that I can use this beauty blender to do everything and I don't have to have multiple sponges but with that being said I would like something more precision tip like this to do my concealer in the corners of my eyes. But I'm having to use this for that. The, the point on here for this contour. And so that that is one downfall, but I mean, it's completely doable. I could probably use the flat side of this and do my contour and the tip for concealer. What are they doing? So I may just have to like go to Sephora online or Ulta and see if I can find a contour and a cream and just you know what they have in their stores and carry there but I'll still try to find something that's affordable because y'all know that's what I try to do all the time is find affordable products for us to use And y'all, like, when I order stuff on Target right now, if it has to be shipped to my house, it comes within, like, two days. So, you're really not having to wait just this huge long time. If that's something that you want to consider, because I know there's not a Target close to, like, everybody. 
I've probably spent 20 minutes just on foundation and concealer on my face already, and I'm trying to be in a hurry. Whatever, girl. Um, this is not new right here. But this is the Milani blush that I wear in the tea rose. If you're interested. Let me see what this looks like up close. So this concealer, right, oh, it's probably gonna crease. I can see that already. Um, I wish I could show you a little better, but right in here, it's creasing a little bit. And then you can tell like on my upper lid, right in there in the corners. So I'll try to blend that out a little bit better. Yeah, let's work on that. But it's so thick and I did put on a lot. So maybe try, if you wanna use that product, try applying much less product than I did. But I think overall, the both products looks good as of right now. Okay. So anyway, moving right along. I'm going to have to use some of my eyeshadows that I've had because, like I said, the palette that I ordered wasn't in stock. So I'll try to do this pretty quick for you guys.
Okay, now that we have that part done, that um, concealer was wanting to crease a lot right in here. So I did take my finger, of course it said to do that, and kind of blend that out, but like I feel like now I've had some black transfer, so let's try this with my finger and see how that works out because I've wiped and wiped till I think I've pretty much wiped it off at this point. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I'm. I can go ahead and tell you. I'm not crazy about this concealer because it keeps creasing like that. It's driving me nuts. But I'm just gonna try to work with it. Work with it. I'm gonna blend this out in the corner a little bit more. Okay, and moving right along, I got the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder Oil Control. This is in Classic Ivory. It comes like this. It says, oil-free, unscented, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin, dermatologically, dermatologically tested. It does come with a little, oh gracious, ah, puff if you are into that, but I'm not. I think that should have gone out in like the 80s or early 90s, so we're not going to use that. To me, like those things, like hold on to the oil on your skin when you put it on there and then it just like mats down and you can't clean it very good. It just never is the same. So anyway, this comes, it's got a cute little mirror on it and it's one of their clean products. So I'm just gonna tap my, my brush straight in there like that. And let's see. My kids have been super quiet and that's scary. I don't know what they're doing. Probably watching their tablets. They love to squeeze that in any chance they get because I don't let them stay glued to it, so. All right, so this powder just went on my face. So it like set everything down very matte and Um, it's like clinging to some spots like right through here. I'm going to try a powder over this and see if I can not kind of fix that a little bit with a hyd this Hydra Perfect powder. I don't think that helped, um, and I'm not gonna redo. I don't have time for that, but I'm gonna try to make this work. So it gathered a lot, like on my chin and right around my eyes for some reason. So I'm gonna try to blend that out. I 
All right, so CoverGirl for me is a no-go. Unless you, I mean, just have super oily skin and you might be able to get away with it, but wow. Anyway, I'm gonna move on and do this Milani bronzer on top. Did I buy a different bronzer? No, I didn't. What do I think I did for? I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. You know, the Milani blurs everything. It always fixes things. So let's see if we can get a little help in here. So I'm like super cakey right here. And I don't really know how to make that better. Ugh. All right, well, we just gotta work with it. I don't know what else to do. I think that CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder just sucked all the life out of my skin. <laughs> I'm just gonna kinda touch up right here. So, still not a lot of full coverage, as you can tell. You can still see like red on my nose. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but <laughs> we're gonna try to make it do. It'll have to at this point, right? So if you're looking for something sheer, two coats of the, look at that. Two coats of this. What I do with it? April, get your life together. NYX. Here it is. NYX, bear with me. Tinted skin veil. Don't expect much. But you just trying to go to the grocery store without slathering on a whole face of makeup, then that's probably the way to go for you. I'm gonna pass two on this Julep concealer. Because it just has creased and creased and creased, and I've blended and blended and blended, and I'm just like over it already. Okay? Now, moving right along. I purchased the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil. This is self-sharpening tip, perfect line, easy to apply. It's water resistant, and I got this in the color charcoal. So, let's try that out. Comes in a pretty good size pencil. It is a twist up, which y'all know is my favorite. And we're gonna apply right here. So the tip is pretty blunt right now. It's not like painful, it's not sharp or anything like that, but it didn't come out pointed. It came out flat. Why is this not focusing? It's driving me crazy. Anyway, it's flat. And so, that's a little weird, cause you always want that perfect tip to give you precision. Uh, and I'm not able to get that. Mm. 
I can still say that concealer. You say that? Ah! <laughs> you guys, what in the total mess? Let's blend this out and smudge it with the brush, the little smudger that's on the tip of this. Okay, and it's not bad, it just, like the application for it was easy, what am I looking for? But that tip just wasn't very precision-like, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna apply this back right there in the middle because that line was much thicker than I wanted it to be. And so I gotta bring that down a little bit. Now. All right. So next, I got the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't think I've used this before because every time I've tried to find it in the store, when the stores were open, they never had it in the store. So today they did because I always, they had the regular pencils, but not the... Um, what are these called? Like twist up. And so I've heard this is really good. And I got this in the color taupe. So let's try it out. This is crayon, micro brow, smudge resistant, waterproof. And I'll list everything below, of course. But. Okay. I kind of feel like this foundation will tint and I keep calling it foundation, but it's not, it's a tint. And this powder I don't, I don't think it's the tint. I think it's just the powder, but it has just made me age so much on here. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Cover girl, what? I mean, your face got to be dipped in some bacon grease for you to be able to wear that. I do like the color of this because I do feel like it matches my hair. Very well. And I'm so hungry. Y'all, if y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm so sorry. Let's look, use a spoolie on the end and kind of brush through this to kind of tone it down a little bit. Because I don't, you know, like for my eyebrows to look like there's crayon mashed in them or just super thick. 
you do want it to look more natural than painted on. <laughs> like one of my videos a few weeks ago. Look at that. What's going on in that crease? And that wrinkle right there. Mm -mm. My eyebrows, my eyebrows, my eyebrows always look jacked on these videos, but I swear to you. They are not that bad. To like sit back because I feel like I get a better perspective on these brows. When I do, I'm so disappointed. And this powder, oh my gosh. All right, I gotta quit griping about that and move on because that's just ridiculous. So the brow pencil did fairly well. I'm going to let my Maybelline brow pencil trump this one. But overall, like the application was easy. The tip was great. So, And the color was good. So I think that all worked really well. Now, you know, I'm not really worried about my eye, my eyebrows being waterproof because I don't plan on sitting out in the rain <laughs> and just like let the water pour over my face. And I've never seen anybody's eyebrows like melt off their face. <laughs> and I hope I don't because I might laugh and I shouldn't. But anyway... Then, NYX, well, I didn't realize I got so many NYX products, but anyway, yes I did. Okay, and I'm noticing that I ordered a couple of lip liners and they didn't come. And, okay, so we can work with that. But this is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara, 95% people saw instant volume, 94% saw instant lift. It says the lashes appear higher, fuller, and instantly lifted. Okay. It's got some before and after pictures on the back. This is in the color black. I was going to get a color brown and try it just to see. Oh, this is thick. Okay, no, not really. The brush is just kind of difficult to get out, but this is what the applicator looks like. Be interested to see this. The bristles are very firm. They will stab you. Oh crap, really? All right, go slow putting this stuff on. Oh Jesus. What? A the what? So I can tell instantly, like, my eyelashes are not clumping together. Let me keep working with it because, y'all, those bristles are something else. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm putting mascara on with a grill brush. What? Okay. So just be real careful when you're... Putting this on if you choose to try this product because it will scratch your eyeball up if it touches it. I, I don't notice much lift, let me say. Wow. But I do like the look of this mascara. 
I think it separates the eyelashes very well. I did, oh yeah, that's that looks good. Can y'all see that? Oh yeah. Okay, so we might, you know, be able to work around the eye damage that you cause yourself with the bristles to get this look, you know. But I did filter my search last night and mascara for something waterproof and this came up, but I didn't see anywhere where it mentioned that it was waterproof. So, you know, for sure, don't send out in the rain with this because that will run down your face and I've seen that happen. It says, elevate your expectations. This ultra pigmented formula catches and coats lashes in matte black color for quick charge lift and volume in just a few strokes. Featuring an innovative applicator shape I mean, I don't know what's innovative about it. It's a little. Okay. The part hourglass, part round and brush delivers high drama, intense volume, and serious elevation, and serious stick you in your eye. Ooh, y'all. But I do like this application for real. I am going to give it that. But this isn't one like I feel like you can put up against your lash line and you know like <laughs> the way some people do because y'all your eye might be bleed for real. Okay. But it's very doable. I really like it. Yes. Yes, honey. I know what Jeffree Star says. Yes, honey. Okay. Now, let's look at some lip colors that I did get. So, which one do I want to go with today? I'm going to save this one for next time, I think. And where are... Hold up, y'all. I got to find them. Okay, so I'm going to use a lip liner that I already have since the one I ordered didn't come. And this one also is NYX. Do I need to name this video NYX Review? Because, <laughs> y'all, I didn't even know. Did not even know this had that many. NYX um, products in it. I feel like I've done NYX before. Have I not? What's going on with that? So anyway, I gotta sharpen this pencil real fast. And y'all, I've been going for one hour. Mm -mm. I'll speed this up for y'all, but geez. If you wanna overline your lips a little bit to give them a fuller look, do it just a little bit. I, I don't like when people draw their lips like way up here. I mean, come on now. Go on the outer edges of your lip line just a little bit. Okay. All right. So now that that's done, this is also in the color Citrine. Now, we got the Milani Matte Satin. What? Matte Satin? How's that going to work? And Amore? Amore. Oh, it says Amore Satin Matte. The color is Plush 04. We're going to try this out. Okay. I feel like I've tried a Milani like this before because of the applicator, but... A lot of applicators can come in the same. It's not really a doe foot. It's pretty much the same on both sides, that little flat. But anyway. Oh. A little more purple than I was thinking it would be. What 
expensive is that? That smells like some weird kind of flavored coffee or something. But anyway, this is what it looks like in the tube. This is what it looks like on. Pretty dark. It looks much lighter in the tube. And I was kind of hoping it would be that color, but it's not, so you know. And it's real matte, too. Well, I'm going to put some gloss over this. And see if we can't like lighten that up a little bit because I don't need to be having purple lips. But it ain't a satin matte. It's a matte matte. Okay. We're going to roll with it. Lord knows it ain't the worst thing that I've tried because that day last week I put on my lips was just like, what? What happened? What happened was that was some jacked up stuff. And let's just do a little bit of highlight on my nose. Oh, don't that make things so pretty? And I should have done this first. Okay. A little right there. Let's give this any little extra we can to try to offset this cakey look we got going on. Oh, and that deflects it pretty good. Okay, yay. Now to set the face, I got the Neutrogena Radiant Setting Spray, okay? This says antioxidant rich radiant booster and skin protector perfector weightlessly sets and locks makeup with peptides. This setting spray is formulated to leave skin looking radiant and refreshed. Directions mist six to eight inches away from face with eyes closed. And this has got oh, some castor oil in it. Oh, okay, water was the first ingredient. You see how that spray comes out? It smells pretty good. Oh, Lord, sweet baby Jesus. I don't look like I washed my face. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna post some pictures of this in the light in just a second, okay? So, let me go run a something through this hair and I got to get out of here. So anyway, Target haul, I will list everything below. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every week whenever I post my videos which is on Wednesdays. So I appreciate you watching so much and I look forward to whatever next week brings for us. Until next time, thank you guys. Bye.